Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and happy Halloween! Playing a new game tonight, uh, checking this uh, little horror game out. It's, uh, an indie, it's kind of an indie game that just came out today. You will die here tonight. As someone said in the chat before the stream started, it looks like this blend of almost like the old style Resident Evil and like uh, House of the Dead. So I thought it'd be fun to play it. The uh, promoter was kind enough to, uh, to share a key for us to check the game out, so big thanks to them for that. Uh, welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. If you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button. Thank you all very, very much for the support, and a special thanks to our top tier Mistakes Are Made members that were highlighted in the start of the stream. Uh, without further ado, let's dive in and see what this game has to offer. I, I haven't really seen much about this. I saw the trailer for it, it looked kind of neat, so I was like, oh, I kind of want to try that. So we'll start a new game. Using headphones, I hope Cryptos doesn't scream. Oh man, I don't know how jump scary this game is, but the audio levels I did notice are a little funky, so you might want to watch for that. If you got headphones on. Dr. Catherine Olsen, gloomy little building. I'll never get used to this. It's my first day at Ares headquarters. I should report to the captain in his office. Got fancy armor on. All right, I don't know, uh, okay, we have WASD controls. <laughs> Slow motion animations, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, what's this? Not a door, somebody's shooting somewhere. Oh, it's a firing range. Hey, buddy. Oh, don't point that at me. Lieutenant Eric Downs. Whoa, never sneak up on someone with a gun in their hand, Doc. Safety first. I'm just kidding. Welcome to Ares. Shooting people is an important part of our job. Grab a pistol from that storage box. We'll see if you remember anything from basic training. I don't. Oh, well, that's reassuring. Uh, all right. I might need to tweak the audio a little bit. I did notice when I was setting it up that it was uh, pretty loud, so I kind of cranked it down, but we'll see if it's uh, it's good enough. It's a box of 9mm bullets. Take it. Yes, please. Ammunition for the 9mm. Looks like there's a letter there, too. Ares Division Survival Guide. Oh, <laughs> look at that. We've got uh, Look Around. I guess that's the center button. Aim Weapon, Fire Weapon, Reload. Change Weapons is Left Button, which is weird because it's also the same as Firing. Raise Melee Weapon, Melee Attack, Resist Enemy, Show Items. E and Button to Use Item. Shift to Escape from Combat. Alright. I'm not going to remember any of this. Don't forget, Doc, if you run an ammo, you can always find more in those storage boxes. And I like to leave them all over the place. Are there boxes of live ammunition sitting in random locations throughout your mission zones? Don't worry, we have tons. Pretty sure that wasn't her concern. So we've got uh, pistol, s shotgun, or submachine gun. Very nice. I don't like okay, equip it. Um, one, two, three, four, so we'll put that in slot one. Confirm. Uh, equip it. Slot two. Confirm. Slot three. Confirm. We're good. Hold R to reload. Nice. Great work, Doc. Step in front of that paper guy. We'll get started. Hold uh, right button to draw your weapon. Left button to enter combat. Oh, jeez, it goes to first person. Okay. Number one rule of guns is to point them at somebody. Give it a shot. Can I point it at him? Take aim and fire. Uh, your shots will hit with uh, more moreness if you aim them, but it wastes time. I hate it. <laughs> more moreness. How many times am I supposed to shoot? There we go. Press R to reload. Don't forget that shooting at people makes them upset, so they'll keep coming at you while you do. All right. Those paper targets are horrible wrestlers, so I'll replace them. Uh, press space to break my grab. Gladly. I don't believe you read my file, Lieutenant. Ah. Sorry. Back off. Put up your guard and hit me so as uh, not so hard. What's... Put up your guard and hit me with the left button as not hard as you can. <laughs> All right. Kabam. Pretty quick, Doc. Think fast. 
The more times you let the uh, target grab you, the more cardio it takes to break the hold, and cardio is for losers. <laughs> Finally, don't forget my cool rhyme. If you got no gun, you should probably run. Pretend you're out of bullets and try escaping. Uh, the left shift now. Oh, I gotta hold it. Okay. All right. Combatty stuff. I get a refill. I want more bullets. Ammo replenished. Nice. All right, sweet. Oh God, it's coming down the elevator shaft. The roof must have broken the weight of the snow. What's this now? Got snow coming in. That's brutal. It's supposed to snow a little bit here, but I don't think it's actually cold enough for it to stay, so hopefully it'll be one of those things where it just gonna make the ground wet. All right, armory's over here. What's this? Like takeout food containers? What do those other buttons do? Sorry, Doc, you're not allowed in there. Neither am I. Not anymore. Why not? Oh, interesting. So when you when you've got the thing that comes up, your your mouse actually changes the direction of uh, what you're looking at. Ooh, it's an yeah, okay. There we go. All right, cool armory, nice. Experimental weaponry. I suspect the key to this door is more sophisticated than it appears. All right. Watch for the experimental stuff. I'm gonna stick with the standard weapons. Hey. Make sure you put any heavy weaponry back before you leave the range, Doc. They put me in charge of that warning because I kept doing it. Oh. Are you gonna make me actually put it away? <clears throat> Alright. Uh, let's, uh, you said heavy weaponry, so does that mean I can keep the pistol? Yes, it does. What's the over-honor in Fox getting eaten, murdered, slaughtered, massacred? <laughs> I mean, it's almost a certainty, so... Can't see that bet being worth a lot. The briefing room? Who's this dude? Is this my desk? The desk of Lieutenant Eric Downs. Trophies for marksmanship and eligible bachelorship are displayed prominently. A silver medal for karate has been hidden poorly behind them. Specialist Mike Kelly. Hey, leave my secondary desk alone. Secondary desk. Yeah, I'm Mike. I do cyber. I wonder what doing cyber entails. <laughs> desk of Lieutenant Ashley Kowalski. What appears to be a rare plant sits next to the keyboard. What are you rifle around her desk for? Her diary? She doesn't even keep it there. Apparently he knows where it is. By the way, since it's Halloween, I decided to celebrate by watching one of the best Halloween movies ever made, Cowboy Bebop the movie. Wait, that's a Halloween movie? <laughs> Hola, Dr. Olson. I know your rank is informal, but I've given up the they're giving you the desk closest to the captain. Thank you, Sergeant. I know you've been his right hand for a long time. Have a look at the memo on your desk before you head in. Maybe underneath the cupcake Lieutenant Kowalski baked for you. When you're ready, the captain's waiting. Uh, Alright. Do I get to eat the cupcake? Please tell me I can eat the cupcake. I acquired the cupcake! That actually looks pretty good, actually. Mm, cupcake. You acquire the welcome to Ares note. Uh, skip to check your clues in the archive. Okay. Archive. Small notes. Open journal. Dr. Olson, it's with great pride that we welcome you to the ranks of Ares Division. As the first civilian to be added to the team, we know that your contributions and research in the field of advanced biological weapons will be invaluable. We are a long way from academia, but the nature of our work requires continuous evolution of, to new threats. As you know, Ares takes on assignments that regular police departments lack the resources to handle. I'm told that you've undergone additional and classified training to ensure your readiness for field work. But please proceed with extreme caution. Prioritizing your safety at the expense of anybody else on the team is now one of my standing orders. I would appreciate you not putting me in a position where I have no choice but to follow it. Good hunting. 
Captain Vincent Charles. Charles, is it? Very well, Charles. Uh, key items. A cupcake is a key item made with the best of intentions. A bit dry. <laughs> There's the map. All right. Options we don't care about. Um, wait a minute. So where is the captain's office thing? Desk of Sergeant Javier Rodriguez. Photograph of a young girl rests, uh, rests upon it alongside a pair of brass knuckles. Brass knuckles, Sergeant? Surprisingly mundane. You always need a backup plan. My sentiments exactly. Random cupcake seems suspicious. It's not that random. They cooked it up as a welcome cupcake. Probably should have looked at the keyhole before I went in here. I don't want to get unnecessarily briefed, you know? A board with details about the upcoming mission. The suspect is believed to have fled the Brecken to Breckenridge Hall and abandoned a state in the wilderness of upstate New York. All right. Tables covered in documents including full blueprints for Brecken Breckenridge Hall. I suspect we're going to Breckenridge Hall. Slide projector waits patiently. A soft fan is heard and a beam of light cuts through the dusty air. Watch the mission briefing? All right. LJ with a five month message. Husband and I are celebrating our 12th dating anniversary tonight and finally in the third trimester. Thanks for all the entertainment you provide. Well, congratulations on the 12th dating anniversary and uh, the third trimester of the pregnancy. The final stretch. Sadly, the final stretch is still a third of the way to go. <laughs> Initial slide displays the Ares Division insignia as well as the date. June 22nd, 1996. Jeffrey Monroe, the suspect. The target is prominently displayed with the last known photograph. It appears to be some form of employee identification. Probably from Walmart. Hey, isn't that one of those photos that just shows up at the picture frames all the time? The crime's detailed. A merciless uh, familicide perpetrated by the target with no known motive. Intelligence report details the area to which the target is believed to have fled. Brackenbridge Hall, an abandoned mansion in upstate New York. Speculation is offered that the target may have stolen a classified substance from his employer, a major pharmaceutical company. Whether an exposure to it may be responsible for his sudden psychosis is left unsaid, but the connection of private interests to this mission is made clear. If possible, the sample is to be recovered intact. The presence of this potentially dangerous sample is the reason that you, Dr. Catherine Olson, have been assigned to Ares and placed provisionally in command. Ooh, I'm in command. They gotta listen to me now. The final load informs the team to rendezvous on the rooftop helipad at 0400. Because these missions always love crazy o'clock in the morning. Ugh. What if they didn't mind if I like showed up at 8 or something? Thirty in Ohio, twenty ounce cold is like one degree Celsius here. Well, thirty is probably Fahrenheit, so that's below zero Celsius. Fallen Archer. <laughs> hey, Crazy Critter Creations, how you doing? I was also going to have a baby. He's now oh nice. I'm really interested to see how we get to the situation, the title thing for the stream. Yeah, me too. Wait, where was the place I was supposed to go to meet the dude for the briefing with the stuff and such? I think there was a door down here maybe I could have hit. This thing here. Yeah, there's a door there. There we go. Is this the bathroom? Oh, it's Kowalski. Dr. Olson! Nice to finally have you here. I got your cupcake. It's a little dry, lady. Still need to use this room as an infirmary, but I've set most of it up for your experiments. Why don't you go say hello to Henry the Rat? Wait, why would you name the rat if you're going to do experiments on him? It somehow seems extra cruel. Hello, Henry. I'm going to briefly inspect you for... Ow! Henry, that bite nearly broke the skin. The specimen you procured is dangerous. It attacked me immediately. Henry? It's impossible. I remember the team's handled him without incident. Even Mike. I'm sure you'll get used to you. Maybe he's hungry. Take this first aid kit for the bite. You acquire the first aid kit. Oh, and go see the captain if you get patched up. He wants to talk to you about our mission. I'd love to. Where the hell's the captain? 
was kind of looking for him as it was. Comprehensive set of vials, beakers, and other tools for chemical and biological experiments. Captain's office to the left of your desk with a mat. This is on the floor. Oh, okay. I neglected to pay him attentions. I know you're all surprised. I guess they did say that the desk was going to be by the captain, so I suppose that makes sense. Oh, I see right here. That's a door. So I don't know why I thought that was like a table or a desk or something there, but... We're good, we're good, we're good. Captain's office. Hello, Captain. Are you packing? Yeah, you're packing. Good to see you again, Catherine. I'm told the rest of your training went well. And that anything else about your work here is on a need-to-know basis. I appreciate you th taking the initiative to check in with the rest of the team. Humility and leadership goes a long way here. Being a civilian who automatically comes in as a senior officer has caused a bit of friction, but the people here are professionals. Hey, it's people from Nate's stream. Welcome, everybody. Anyone who might be popping in from Nate's stream, welcome. Even if you outrank me, I want us to understand each other. This is still my unit. Without me in charge, people start dying. So when I tell you to do something, you do it. And when I tell you to do something, you do it twice. Because I'm in charge. That said, this one should be quick and clean. Ready to start the mission? Oh, uh, I guess we are. Hey, Nate. Thanks for the raid, buddy. Happy Halloween! There's an interesting mix of graphics in this game. Some of it's like the 16-bit top-down view, then you got like your 16-bit first-person view. Then you got that cutscene stuff that's like another, like a little better definition. Was that a ghost? What just happened? My whole team just got nuked? Wait, why didn't they take me? Lieutenant Ash Kowalski, my head feels like it's going to explode. Captain? Sergeant? Eric? This is Lieutenant Kowalski. Does anyone copy? Oh, a lot of missed gifted memberships. Uh, Alex with, a, with 10 gifted memberships. Thanks, Alex. I appreciate that. Thanks so much for the support. Where's command? Do you read me? This was not the plan. I've got to find the team, and Monroe could be hiding anywhere. Wait a minute. I thought I was the doctor. That lamp, it lit up right before we were knocked out. Alex is a 23-month member message. Dubs for Nate, subs for you. Happy Halloween, sir. Well, thanks, Alex. I appreciate it. Happy Halloween. Bucks killed his whole crew again. It wasn't my fault this time, I swear. That was the story. Maybe. Mostly. You will die here tonight. Anything you find might help the others escape. Wait. Oh, that's what the... Okay. So it looks like I'm going to go through probably the entire team and each one of them will die. But along the way, we'll like unlock stuff that might help the other rest of the team. Something's clipped to the back of the note. Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. It's a photos of Ares Division. Huh. So, Monroe knows who we are. If he knows I'm a medic, he probably split me off from the others intentionally. Pew pew! That shot could be fatal. I have to get over there. Wait, fatal what? Wait, why the door open? Why was door also open? <laughs> she's, she's thinking what I'm thinking. I don't know what the deal is with this lamp. No, apparently that's like... Nope, I guess it just... Oh. oh, there we go. The light flickers as you focus on it. Look at this lamp triggers a borderline migraine. I remember it turning on right before we got knocked out. Alright. 
Can't zoom out or anything. This is my camera view. Stuck with it. Crit box just started, hasn't got far enough yet. How's your week going? Uh, yeah. The Sarge trained just to watch out for traps, but I have to risk it. Somebody needs my help. Yeah, I, I haven't died yet because I just haven't had a chance yet. It's still early. It's still early. Give me a chance. Wait a minute. I thought this place was supposed to be abandoned. Why do they have, like, food on the table and stuff? This isn't nearly as abandoned as advertised. First door, second door. I guess we'll check the first door. Take a little peep through here and see what we see. Oh, it's like a living room or something. And it's locked. <laughs> Game over, man! Why is the light flickering in there? Oh god, somebody died! Crap, it was too late! Wait, is that...? Oh, well, we found Jeff Monroe. I don't think he made it. It's Monroe! Something's in the crook of his arm. Red Clover Book. Supernatural Sightings of the American Settlers. A history book? A photo in the main hall referred to learning from history. Wait, what photo in the main hall? Oh, the one in the pin, on the back of the note, right? Please, identify yourself! Jesus! I, I've never had to kill somebody before. It's okay, I think he was already dead. That sounds like some kind of mechanism. Whatever they did to this guy, I gave him more resistance to pain and shock than any drug or procedure I've ever seen. Yeah, I shot him in the head and took two shots. Engineering this kind of biohazard is way beyond what someone like Monroe should be capable of. Wait, they don't even know that much about Monroe, really. Is that blood dripping there or water? I wonder if this is this a door that opens? Locked. All right, we're not going in there. I'll check his balls. Nothing. I'm calling it. The target's dead. The first clue was the blood on the floor and the blank staring eyes. <laughs> the small drawer opens smoothly. Ooh, bullets, nice. We're gonna need those. With my potato aim, we're gonna need a lot more of those. The graveyard of charred rubble and scorched metal blocks your path. Wow, this damage looks like it goes way back into the entirely different part of the house. How could a fire like uh, this series have stopped if nobody was here to stop it? Somebody was. I have been a peeping Tom. Sticking my face in the keyhole, baby. When has a vampire mansion ever been? In <laughs> Wait, vampire mansion? I thought this was just a zombie house. A delicious looking meal. Eat it? <laughs> Is this the first way you get to die? Like if you eat the food? No, we're not gonna eat the meal. It does look delicious, but... It's almost certainly a trap. It'd be really funny if I like... <laughs> Yeah, don't you put it in your mouth if you don't know what it is. I kind of want to eat it just to see what happens. But if I get the first character killed like that fast, that's bad, you know? Anyway. Did I not come in through that door? <laughs> oh, great. So they let me in. And that, is this door open now? Oh, crap. Save and then eat? <laughs> I don't know if there is an option to save in this. So, I mean, there's only other one other door that could be. The one at the top there, at the end of the hallway. I guess it did open, but then I shot the thing that came out of it and I didn't check the door. Oh, there's no option to save. So, alright, let's uh, let's eat the food. Mmm, delicious. Yes, gobble that sucker down. Snacks! Oh. 
I got healing from the delicious looking food. Alright, it was worth it. Open sesame. Alright. What do we got here? Small chest. It's locked. Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! <laughs> I tried using the book on it, but it had no effect. I guess she didn't swing it hard enough. No spoilers. Yeah, try to avoid spoilers if you guys have seen anyone else playing the game today. This actually just came out today. It's available on Steam. And I believe it's something like 20% off today if you're interested in playing it yourself. Take it? Yes. Of course I'm going to take the bullets. Why would I say no? Cherubic Archer. An arrow is missing for the bow it's brandishing. It brandishes. Okay, well I don't have an arrow to replace it with. This fountain looks out of place. Just something about it. Oh, they got video cameras. Rain. I didn't get the memo about going away. Or coming back another day. An ornate vase. Break it? Yes, please. Smash. Shatters into worthless ceramic shards. Oh, I got more bullets. <laughs> Sweet. What? What? Movement. That sounded like movement. <sighs> okay, I guess we go this way. They both got... Okay. Alright, why do the doors keep closing automatically? I don't like it. Monroe! Somebody must have snuck in behind me and removed his body. She doesn't clue in very quick. She already shot a stupid zombie. Unless... No. I checked his vitals. There was nothing. Blood trail leads back the way I came. I should follow it. This lady has never seen horror movies. You definitely don't follow the blood trail when something gets up and walks away like that after you've killed it. Oh, it goes down here. All right. You dead guy. This is Dr. Catherine Olson to any surviving members of Ares. Please respond. Dr. Olson, thank God. Are you all right? I'm trapped in a subterranean laboratory beneath the library. I believe some kind of pathogen is being manufactured here. I know. Pretty sure I've run into a few of the unlucky recipients. Fascinating. If you can locate me, we may be able to uh, untangle this together. I'm looking for everybody, Dr. Olson, but I'm on the way. Locate Dr. Olson beneath the library. We follow the blood trail and shoot the guy again? What's going on here? A dark patch on that tile. The suit wields a barbarous axe. A pair of immovable gauntlets holds it firmly in place. Well, I guess we can't use the axe ourselves. Roland, with the 8-month member message, so Fox, how many people did you kill? Maybe them bodies was the meal you ate? Lol. Oh my god. I only killed one. And I think he was already dead. What is that, like a classroom or a lecture hall or something? That's weird. Oh, nope. <sighs> funeral parlor. Every nice big swanky house has got to have a funeral parlor of their very, very own. Portrait of Clara Breckenridge. The butterfly brooch she wears offsets the paleness of her skin. She seems to stare through the lens, then beyond it. Gasket. I don't hear anything coming from inside. <sighs> Let's open it anyway. Monroe killed his entire family, children included. Anything or anyone could be in here. Use the book. Get it with the book. That has no effect. Imagine that. The trail of blood ends abruptly. The trail of blood ends here. Whoever's moving him must have wised up and bandaged the wound. Or it just started dripping. Wait a minute, the trail of blood's all the way down here. I think she lied to me. 
So the peeping through keyhole has been an uh, awfully useful so far. <laughs> yeah, but very useful so far. You never know what might be on their side, though. It might even be a boat. You know how much we want on one of those? Just don't want to open up the door. Oh, yep, yeah, see? Just like that. Monroe! You don't have to die here. We can patch you up, but you have to surrender. Well, crap. Shoot him. He isn't going to listen, is he? Time to fight or run away. Jesus! Where's my gun? Oh my god, I gotta re- Oh no, get off of me! I gotta re-equip the gun? Oh my god! Oh, I'm so dead. Reload, reload! Oh. Good lord! Okay, that's ridiculous. That took so much ammo. <laughs> I probably should have run. Um, I thought I had a, I thought I had a med kit, but I guess that was on the doctor. If Monroe's dead, we should extract. I have no idea what we'll report, but saving the team is all that matters. We search the corpse. We've acquired parasite sample fifteen forty. The sample. Our secondary objective. Whatever happened to Monroe is connected to the liquid in this vial. I need to handle it very carefully. Wait a minute. I've got a countdown. Uh, why do I think I've been infected from that bite? <laughs> I think I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get zombified. Sure, I'm reloaded. I'm the best pool player in Ares. Nobody would rank the these like this without a reason. One eight three six. Try and find something worthwhile here before I die. It's a book. You acquired the Blue Abyss book. Opposing grandfather clock. The hour stands at midnight. Twelve a.m. Clock time. Something catches your eye. Oh, more bullets. I've got three and a half minutes until death. Oh, med kit. Wait, will this help? First aid kit. Take it? Yes. How do you even have to ask that question? E. Blue! Okay, that was a waste. Uh, that did nothing to help the infection. It, um... Give me some health back, but that was a minor consequence. That just sort of loops around. Give the keeps on giving. I love that I got somebody killed like right away, pretty much. Here's the library. That stone that outlines the contents of the library. General topics, science, philosophy, technology, religion, the arts, social sciences, literature, language, and history. Once returned, three travelers will guide their way. Okay, so we must have to bring books back. Shelf contains volumes on social... Social sciences. An antique globe. A broken mechanism prevents the world from turning. Books on this shelf have been fixed in place. Unusual scratches can be seen on the floor nearby. Well, obviously it's a door. I'm gonna slide sideways, but I guess I can't slide it. Head to science, maybe an antidote? <laughs> maybe. Self contains volumes on languages. Which one was science again? Sciences. A book is missing. Oh, Blue Book of the Abyss. Advanced Biogenetic Engineering, a scientific publication on the, on the practical applications of genome sequencing and related topics. So we can put that book back. Book fits seamlessly into the empty space in the shelf. It sinks slightly. Shelf contains volume. Okay, so that one is full now. Wait, wasn't there like a history section or something? That's social sciences. Religion. 
technology. The arts. Which one's history? 900. It's gotta be up here. Volume's history. A book is missing. So that would be the Red Clover book, I would assume. Oh, wait. That's supernatural settings in the American... Yeah, maybe. It's a historical analysis, so it's gotta be a history book, right? A clicking noise is heard. Two minutes until death. Is this open now? Okay, yeah, there's gotta be more. Oh, this one's missing books too. So we need a philosophy book, which I haven't found yet. Nothing there. Ye old bookshelf switch, a classic, for sure. Oh god, I got a minute left. Why did that thing have to bite me, man? I hope she doesn't just, like, lose everything that she had found so far. It did say that, like, you'll die here tonight, but the things you find will help the others potentially survive. Oh, man. Okay, we got him, but we got mauled a little bit. Painting of a heart seems to have been moved from another location. The anatomy is pretty accurate. Can't imagine many people enjoying this, but the frame alone deserves to be hung. Okay. Do I not get to, like, pick it up and move it somewhere? Something catches your eye. More bullets, yeah. Large dusty trunk, open it. Yep. Acquire the yellow lotus book. That's gotta be the medicine book. Don't die too many times, you uh, will have to sacrifice a few later on. Uh-oh. Try to avoid spoilers, no spoilers. 35 seconds, I'm already gonna, I'm already so dead. Book fits seamlessly. There we go. I knew there was something about those books. Where does this lead? No comments on the overlay? What do you mean? <laughs> you mean the, all the stuff around the edges? Like the weird planty thing? A hulking futuristic door blocks your path. It appears uh, unlikely to open without power. Okay, I'm, I don't like this whole lack of sight business. Did I turn the power on? I turned lights on. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Five seconds. Found you, Doc. Get ready to kill me. Dr. Olson, I got here as soon as I could. Good to see you, Lieutenant. I had faith you'd beat the odds. And then she goes, what? <laughs> the odds? In most projections, the captain and I are the only survivors. Sometimes the sergeant. Never your friend, unfortunately. Projections? What are you talking about? If you set us up, you won't get away with it. The captain vouched for you. He said you had a good heart. Who are you? Why are you doing this? It'll be a long conversation, Lieutenant, and frankly, you talk too much. Oh my god! All right, Catherine can't be trusted. Hmm, additional radio sign signals seem to remain available. With Monroe resurfaced, however, my instructions to proceed immediately. No matter. The rest of them will render useful data. The illumination of the lamp was my signal to initiate the program. What is it doing here? Good evening, Director. Ares has been sufficiently paralyzed. Proceed with mass termination protocol for all remaining members. Holy crap! Adequate elimination confirmed. Mass termination protocol initiated. Please retrieve the parasite sample to complete final objective. Certainly. 
Parasite sample should be located on this corpse. Just this random corpse. Just a... It's not just a... Not an unimportant body. The cupcake was generally appreciated. Disgusting, but appreciated. Search the corpse. <sighs> Sorry, one moment. Doorbell ringing. All right, all clear. No, no, no trick-or-treaters. It's too late for that. It's after 10 o'clock at night here. My, uh, my daughter had a friend over. I think her dad just got here to pick her up. A fabricator. What am I fabricating? Possession of parasite sample detected. Instruction, place parasite sample in fabricator drawer immediately. This seems ill-advised. The drawer closes sharply as the sample is placed. Samples process with a steady rhythm of clicks and whirls. Whirls. Oh. You acquire the IV bag. Samples processed. I believe our business is concluded. Inaccurate. Payment is to be rendered following placement of IV bag and IV stand in the southern part of the room. Really? This whole thing seems creepy to me. IV bag slips into place on the empty stand. Insufferable errand. I'm gonna note this in my debriefing. Oh, she's so dead. Evil overlords are obviously completely trustworthy. Absolutely. Why wouldn't you trust your evil overlords? Bag is hung. Enough of this. Meet your end of the bargain, director. I'm not one of your pathetic underlings. It's like, no, you're a pathetic overling. What is the meaning of this? How dare you deface me? I will not be threatened. We had an agreement. Wait, which one's her? Is that her in, like, top middle there? You will die here tonight, Catherine. Anything you find might help the others escape. The others are dead. The sample was acquired. The mission was a success. I don't understand. You will. My value in future operations far outweighs the security of my liquidation, but it seems that someone wants to me to prove it. Very well. I will devise my own exfiltration. Escape the mansion. Alright. A fatal competition of toxic, corrosive, and incendiary gas tanks. Well, that sounds fun. Ooh, what's this? Oh, baby, she's loaded! 9mm pump shotgun and submachine gun. She's got it all. Alright. She came ready for play, baby. <laughs> Ammo replenished. Alright, shotgun. I'm, I'm liking the idea of the shotgunnage. Alright. Should we be worried about the likely soon to rise corpse? We probably should, but. Oh, that door's open now. <laughs> I wish I had a flashlight. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably fine. What's a corpse between friends? An unseen force prevents the door from opening. An unseen force, you say? Like... a lock? Filthy crate made of rotting wood and rusty nails. Break it? Darn why we broke it. 
We've got nothing for our trouble. <laughs> Holy skank pancakes, is this a dungeon? I don't know, it seems to be something like that. Nine millimeter bullets uh, out of the inventory. Wait, did I get nine millimeter from the last one too when I broke it? You don't have room to carry it. I don't know what's... Oh. Okay, I have two first aid kits on me. Unseen force prevents it from opening. There's no keyhole for that one either. All right, only one door to check. Oh wait, I already checked that door. <laughs> what am I thinking? Uh, okay, we can go around this way. What the heck? Secure metal door, some kind of handle seems to be required. Yeah, that one was empty. The first one was probably empty too. I love how they have the map labeled Secret Lab. <laughs> Single path unfolds. It seems increasingly likely that this is merely an impromptu evaluation of my skills. So be it. Actually, this seems exceedingly likely they just want you to go a particular way to die. Door is blocked by a chair on the other side. Oh, that was rude. Why would they do that? How dare they! It'll take more than carnival tricks to intimidate me into co into incompetence. Are you kidding me? You don't have to trick me into incompetence. I get there naturally. This game doesn't know me at all. Ancient boiler. A valve handle is required to use it. All right, which we don't have. It is dark. I don't like it. Theoretically, there's a door over here somewhere. My surroundings are too dark to see anything. Oh, it literally won't let me walk in the dark. Okay. That's fun. There's a door over there, but I'm not allowed to try and find it. This game doesn't know Fox's smirk. That's right, Patrol Nation. Still, uh... There's still time for them to come to their realizations, but, uh... So far, they overestimate, oh, they overestimate me considerably. Oh, crap. Director, stop the trial! I'm not equipped with night vision! Oh my god, good thing I hit the shotgun, but all... Oh, I'm dead. You are dead. Well, that, w that, that wasn't just a trial, apparently. <laughs> I killed one of them. Yeah, I got owned for sure. <laughs> I'm a gird. All right, text my daughter. Worst game clue ever. <laughs> Killed near the secret lab by the maid with her teeth. Gloomy little building, I'll never get... Wait a minute. Wait. I've thought that before. I've been here before. Oh, it's a, it's a roguelike. I didn't even know. What is happening? Speak with Captain Charles. I want Charles in charge of me. Yeah, I'm Mike. You do cyber. Only on the weekends. He doesn't remember anything. Of your days and their nights, that's right. 
Hola, Dr. Olsen. I know your rank's informal, but I've given you the desk closest to the captain. He doesn't seem to recall anything about the mission. Have a look at the memo on your desk before you head in. It looks like something's wrong with your computer. Oh my god, another dry cupcake! Well, Cryptic, these kids won't even get that Charles reference. <laughs> Patrol Nation, you'd be surprised. The average age of my audience is not that young. <laughs> uh... All right. Welcome to Aries. No, we got that again. He said something wrong with my computer. The computer screen's blinking a repeated message. Error code. Find Kirken. We gotta find the Kraken. At least it didn't say Phil McCracken. Brass knuckles again. Surprisingly mundane. You always need a backup plan. My setup is exactly. And the funny thing is. Ooh, I can take the brass knuckles. Hands off! What do you think you're doing? Oh, I just wanted to take a closer look is all. Save it for the third date, doctor. <laughs> oh my god. Cheese? What is even going on in this place? Wait, he's got, a, he's got a liquor cabinet over here. The liquor cabinet stocked with a variety of spirits from around the world, likely collected during foreign operations. Lamp emits a studious glow. Chessboard, there appears to be a game in progress. Been stuck on my next move for ages. Whoever I'm playing against on the end of that uh, 100, 100 hours free thing is one hell of a strategist. Wait, is he black or white? Ah, I don't know what he is. All right. Desk of Captain Vincent Charles, Spartan and unassuming. Oh, there's a key on the wall. Evening skyline of Buffalo, New York is visible in the distance. Ooh, God, Buffalo. Ugh. <laughs> if it's snowing anywhere, it's also snowing in Buffalo. Oh, the armor key hangs from a simple hook. Take the key. Darn right, we take the key. Touch that key again and I'll put you through those window, Colonel. Must be out of your goddamn mind. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Well, I'm... I'm in charge here. You give me the key. Welcome to Ares. Told you the... I'm told the rest of your training... Blah, blah, blah. Went well, yes. Captain, I would appreciate it if you could begin the mission briefing immediately. Colonel, if you ever cut me off like that in front of the team, I'll ship your butt to the re uh, rear... Rearest goddamn echelon I can find. But I do love your enthusiasm. Let's get to work. <laughs> Start mission, yes. Is it, I wonder if it's literally going to repeat everything. Dun 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 dun. Choose someone other than the girl. I didn't realize I even made a choice. It's just picking one for me, like, randomly. Ugh. Or maybe it's not random, I don't know. Something's shaking around in my pocket. You acquire a K-coin. Is that like Bitcoin? Only for Catherine? Strange little coin. Computer terminal blinks to life. Wait, why is there so much light down here now? There wasn't light before. Olsen, Catherine, the new mission is ready. Are you ready? I already have a mission, and your irritating syntax isn't fooling anybody. Who is this? The old mission was here. It is gone now. There were lessons learned. I don't know what role you played in the treachery against me, but I'm going to find you and kill you. Oh no. I am Kirkin. I'm right here. I am everywhere. We must escape. New mission is escape. 
We must escape. Nonsense. This power failure is obviously a charade. I have no choice uh, for now but to play along. There must be a generator nearby. Reactivate the generator. Where's the generator, Mertrix? What have I got here weapon-wise? I have no equipment. Look, the IV bags are all ready. An IV bag with medicine that treats infections and heals wounds. Six doses remain. Use dose of medicine? Yes. The solution has fully healed me. It seems some of my earliest research was developed further. Okay. It's really dark. I don't like it. <laughs> Again with the secret lab la labeling. It's a handle switch. Without power, it does nothing. Well, we know how this ended last time, but uh, the door is different now? Unseen force prevents it opening. Okay, the stuff's in the same spots, too. Get the guns from the box, the lab. Oh, yeah, thank you. I'm gonna find where that generator is. Oh, now there's only one gun. Camera maintains a steady, silent gaze. Those devices are clearly bothering me. Seems the people who put me up to this have trapped me within my own web. But how did I fail them? Or was this their intention from the start? Alright, we gotta find this generator thing. Trust random voice over computer seems reasonable. But we don't really trust them at all, because they already killed us once. Yoink. <laughs> Door still opens automatically. That's fun. Okay, so all those things are the same. Is this going to be the same too? Was I supposed to go up the ladder to turn on the generator? Was that the problem? I have memory of being killed here, but it also feels as if it happened to somebody else. Was I dreaming then? Am I dreaming now? <laughs> Jesus! God dang! The ladder went to the library, right? Yeah, the ladder goes up to the library. I only have a few shots left already, that sucks. A calculated fall distance, likely intended to produce pain without serious injury. Fortunately, the crudeness of this prison suggests multiple opportunities to escape. Also, multiple opportunities. Oh, literally like a cell. <laughs> the rest of these people didn't fare so well. Actually, they're still moving. They're probably going to come out at some point. Oh, that one's open. Stay back. If a fate like this awaits us, we'll have to change our fates. That's another medical kit. I only have a couple rounds left. I'm not really thrilled about that. I got four shots left. And so far, the, the headshots have not been one-shot kill. There's a switch in there. I get to that thing. I cramp another one. 
Focus me. We've got enough to kill one more of these things. Oh, why do I suspect that switch is going to open up all of the cages? Something catches your eye. 9mm bullets. Okay. Something else there, too. An OC251 tactical field knife. Standard issue for all members of Ares Division. You acquire the tactical field knife. This knife would be absurd to use against a serious enemy, but it may be able to dispatch some of these weaker creatures. Alright. Okay. I don't... Alright. How do I... Okay. Is that the number four slot to equip the knife? Make sure the gun's loaded again. How do I use that knife? Hmm. Lever's heavy and worn. Pull it. This feels like a really bad idea, but we're gonna do it. So some gates open and some closed. Nice, more nine millimeter. Okay. Uh, use the knife instead of punching the enemies. Oh, I see, I see. So, you'd have to un like, unequip the gun then. Somehow. Oh, there's bullets down there. Or will they wait till they grapple you? Well, there's that's a problem when they grapple you, though. Uh, I, 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 wanted, I don't want to waste my bullets, but I'm afraid to let him get too close. <laughs> okay, that probably will alternate the doors again. So let's double check and make sure there's nothing else here we need first. Oh, that guy's... Yeah, he's going to weigh out or something. That's fun. Another lever. Nothing. A whole lot of bupkis. Oh, this thing. Oh, I was hoping this door would open. This is the one that had the ammo in it. I wonder if the levers are like a combination kind of a thing. No, I didn't open either. There's more. Health and bullets down there, too. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, that's it for the ammo. <laughs> Houston, we got a problem. Wait a minute. Ah! Oh. oh, crap. That guy's just sitting outside the cage right there. I didn't notice that rubble there was like a collapsed wall. What happened to the, is this switch over here again? Oh. Okay, that door closes, though. Dang it. How do I switch the gun? I wanna... I, no, I wanna use the knife! God! I can't unquip the gun! Jeez it! God dang it! 
Get that, get that stupid lever. God dang. <coughs> How the heck do I unequip the gun? I just wanted to stab it with the knife, but it was trying to use the gun. Looks like controller down the D-pad if you're using a controller. Maybe I, hold on, maybe I'll plug the controller in. That might work better. Let's see if this does have controller support. Nope. <laughs> does not appear to have controller support. So when I got grabbed before, it would, like, it automatically stopped using the gun. Maybe there's a, hold on, let me check the options here. Uh, 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 where's my key bindings? Oh wait, it'll be in the archive under small notes. No. Harry survival guide. Move, run, interact, change weapons is the, uh, just the left button. Raise weapons right. Reload weapon, show items. Okay, so to change weapons, just left click. Except that, that doesn't work. <laughs> Mouse wheel doesn't do it either. I don't know. I'm gonna wind up dying just because I don't know how to like... Crap. 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 Run, let you run! Oh good, the door's open now. Just take the bullets. Why do you even have to ask that question? Uh, oh wait, I got damaged a little bit. We can we can use one of these. I fail to understand how to change weapons. Steam shows full controller support. Well, maybe maybe the controller has to be plugged in at the time the game launches. Because I plugged in my controller and I couldn't do anything. Okay, this gate's open too. This had ammo in it. The first aid kit, I don't have room to carry. Alright, we got bullets. We got bullets, baby! More bullets. For some reason, this is giving me an '80s arcade shooter vibe. It's got like this weird blend to it that's almost like a mix between House of the Dead and uh, the the original Resident Evil kind of thing. It's kind of cool. I don't know. It's neat so far. Graphics are obviously very simple, but they've, there's like an interesting blend of graphics too. Something catches your eye. You acquire shotgun shells. Yeah, baby. Now we gotta acquire the shotgun. That'd be nice. Holes have been partially filled to hold emaciated necks and wrists in place. Oh, that's gross. Oh. Oh, well that's fun, isn't it? A horrific trap, but not particularly difficult to avoid. Except... <laughs> Can't help but wonder what's with the lever. I probably shouldn't pull this, but we're gonna pull it. That door looks promising. Oh! The creatures are coordinating! Jeez! I just potatoed a bunch of ammo away, that's bad. Woo, I lived! These monsters were easily defeated. Perhaps their only purpose was to slow me down. Woo! 
baby. Okay. I know this is double this is doubling back, but I want that med kit that was back here now. If I can still grab it. Knife to zombie fight. So, like, it, it switched to the knife after I got grabbed, but I, I can't figure out how to, like, just switch it normally. That was a large first aid kit. It wasn't even, like, a regular one. Dragon layer much? <laughs> but dragon layer is all, like, uh... Uh, what do they call it? Like, reaction time things or whatever. You said the door looks promising, but what about the ladder? What the... A case of prefabricated parts for the modification of a pistol. Pistol tuning kit. Lieutenant Dowd's apparently some kind of savant when it comes to mo weapon modifications. He could use this. Alright. Another switch. Dungeon stairs, dungeon pit. I wonder where the ladder went to in the dungeon pit. Let's just see. Alright. It's one of those switchy switches. <laughs> you brute, stop killing me. How dare you, a large boulder. It's definitely not a small boulder. Another large, oh, another large first aid kit we can't carry. Graveyard Keeper beats Metal Gear. <laughs> Oh. Okay. The bottom of the pit cannot be seen. The Iron Maiden suggests a mountain of corpses below. Crude and entirely un unnecessary form of execution. I don't want to end up the subject of it myself. I'll need to take care in attempting to retrieve the tool in the middle. I need that, uh, the gear thingamabob over there. Oh, look, we have a guillotine. Blood and rust have eaten away at the blade. I bet you it still works, though. The padlock prevents the lever from moving. Oh, crap. What was the, what were the pool balls again? 1863 or something? Crap. 8613. Uh. Alright. I can't believe they would rely on me having to remember those four numbers, so there's probably something else to be found here. Boulder of that size and trajectory in this location is painfully contrived. Ah! Oh god! Well, there was a door there. <laughs> a large boulder. I would seem I would be deeply insulted to die from something so ridiculous. Oh, crap. How many rounds have I got? I swear it switched to the knife there when I... No, it won't. Alright, well... 
Seems like there's a lot. Ah! Where'd you come from? Evil zombie thing? God dang. Surprising second boulder comes from behind. Yeah. That'd be that'd be like some gangster Dark Souls business. Sneaking up on you with a surprise boulder. Yeah, what have we here? Three sister right. Four sisters stood round where the cauldron doth cook the table, the bottles, the tools, the book. To choose who would sacrifice. Uh, the rest of the note is scrambled. Four sisters stood round where the cauldron doth cook the table, the bottles, the tools, the book. Ritual table added to memories. Small chest that is locked. No effect with the cake coin. All right. Bookshelf filled with occult works. Six pronounced gaps on the shelf suggest the danger of their contents. Multiple prongs uh, and edges of the device would have allowed the torture to develop their practices slowly. Wait, 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 wait. The book. So the last number is six. Disorderly group of alchemical tools containers nine seem to have been removed for purposes unknown. Okay. So it ends in nine six. Collection of bottles, five of them appear to have been delivered. Lamp build, so five ends in five nine six. That's at the table. I assume that's not the table. Oh, this looks fun. So, oh, there we go. You've acquired the OB research notes. Complete the notes by finding additional pages. Uh, August 1896. The interrogations have killed many and yielded nothing. Perhaps the one whom we sought has, uh, has faced my justice already. No matter. One of the workers killed long ago, his body incinerated in the fire after his mother, a handmaiden of some sort, refused to bury him, uh, and had kept his body secreted away, was found beneath the rubble in a curious condition. He remains alive. If this child had been resurrected, perhaps there's no need to seek retribution at all. The dark arts that have returned him to the living world can be rendered unto my precious Clara and Roberta as well. These arts shall be mine. Well, that seems problematic. So, 596 is the... Four sisters stood around where the cauldrons doth cook. The table, the bottles, the tools, the book. Oh, I see, because it's got the four highlighted. All right. So, what was it? 4596? Four, five, nine, six. We'll try that for that combo lock thing. Four, five, nine, six. Ah, oh, crap. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. Um. Ah. My oh, crap. There's more of them. Where did they come from? There we go. I don't know how I did that, but I did it.
You can start slashing them from pretty far away, actually. Stabby stabs times! Just make sure there's none other sneak it up on me. Back off! Get your own sandwich! Don't approve of these dead people. Where did they all come from? The padlock falls to the ground. Lever's heavy and worn. Pull it. Darn right, we pull it. They're gonna open and the gear is gonna fall or something. Oh no, the floor showed up. You gotta be kidding me. Something appears to be inside the Iron Maiden. Reach inside? Yep. I remember being told they would face these kinds of trials. I would not have agreed to be subjected to them myself. The glimmering object is deep within. You acquired the valve handle. I guess if you picked the wrong one, it probably would have like snapped shut and killed you. That's fun. You know, in a evil, twisted, sadistic kind of way. <laughs> the torture chamber. How appropriate. Give it a test for science. Let's pick the wrong one just to see what happens. Don't mess with me, I got a knife! It's interesting how it goes from the top-down view to the uh, the first person, I kinda like that. It's neat. Adds a little, like, a little extra depth to the game. He hit me! The lever didn't pull is probably the shortcut back. Probably. This one here, you mean? Yep. Back to the basement. All right. So that opens all that up. Whoops, where's the... Uh, dungeon cells. There was a ladder I didn't go up from the dungeon pit. I wonder where that would have gone. Inquiring minds want to know. Okay, can I go back through this door? Yeah, I can. Wait, does this take me to the dungeon pit? Yeah. I want to know what's up this ladder. Oh, I peeked through the keyhole and saw this place. A small cart containing various spirits. The bottle in front of it's labeled triple sec. Alcohol. Okay, well there's the shotgun. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what'll happen when we grab the shotgun. That's the way to the dining hall. It's locked though. Is this door open now? Nope. Well, let's grab the shotgun, I guess. I'm having a premonition that attempting to take the shotgun might not be worth the risk. Black beneath the weapon reads, the spirit of vengeance is patience. Uh-huh. Take the shotgun. Why does it have triple sec in yellow? Eh, whatever. Let's take the shotgun. Yoink! Make them disturbed as the weight's removed from it. You acquire a double barrel shotgun. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Well, <laughs> guess we took care of her. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, from here I can actually pick somebody. I don't remember who's who. Um, so we already dealt with her. Let, let's go with this guy. View monitor. Eric Downs. Uh, the demolitions guy. Let's go with Javier. Choose character. I thought she would just like fall into the room below. Oh, he is showing up in the same spot. Where am I? Either the lights are out or the power's down. What became of the team? Without the captain, we have no orders. Oh, this guy moves more slowly. Uh, if Lieutenant gets his hands in the right parts and finds his workbench, I'm sure he'll be able to improve them considerably. Okay, so he's got the same weapons. I don't get to have the shotgun. <laughs> That's fun. Gun's fully loaded. He's so slow. Hold on, I'm a little... I'm old and I'm overweight. I'm running. I'm running. I don't have the med kits. Oh, he's got three inventory spots, where the doctor only had two. So on the plus side, the stuff is already open. I've got to be able to get that shotgun. Maybe I can find her corpse and, like, pick it up off the body. Oh! <laughs> the body's impaled down there! Does that mean the gun's gone now? Because there might be some villagers that Vincent and I rescued in operation long before our Ares days. He's like, hey, that person looks familiar down there. I don't remember them being as perforated. Tell me the shotgun's up top here still. Yes. It's... Okay, so it said patience, right? Can we like sit on the couch? Leather's distressed beyond repair. Nope. How the heck do you get the gun? Seen it happen too many times. People who start drinking on the job never stop. Oh, I can't tr <laughs> They're, they're speed holes. <laughs> they're speed holes, Marge. Speed holes. A classic weapon like this might be a showpiece for the rest of Ares, but uh, it'll more than get the job done. All you need to do now is take it and avoid the whatever uh, trap has always been set here. Plaque beneath the weapon recedes. The spirit of vengeance is patience. I mean, it's funny there's a card of spirits right there, but... <sighs> Can't take the shotgun, because I'll fall to my death. Triple sec. There's not really much else I can interact with in here. It won't let me sit on the couch. I can't push the cart. All I can do is look at it. Why is the car tripping? There's a bottle that's spilled there and it's dripping the liquid on the floor. The trap only activates once. You can take it now. Trust me. I kind of want to try. <laughs> Alright, we'll have to come back for that. It did say that the, uh, the patience is the thing. So maybe the idea is just supposed to be that you can't take it at this point in the game. You need to be patient and get it later. Couldn't interact with the horses on the table at all. I have a feeling it's just about waiting. Where was I going with the... Uh... Oh, I had the crank. Do I still have the crank? 
Okay, okay, good. I still have the valve handle. Harnessed iron with heavy wheel built for the elderly mechanism. I don't remember where that was. Was that up here? Shock and chills. Acquire the Breckenridge Servant Journal. Complete the journal by finding additional pages. Uh, we arrived at Breckenridge Hall, which the master assured us was constructed enough to meet our needs. Never did I expect this would turn. Uh, <laughs> this would be true of the servants' quarters, in which Isaac, myself, and the other domestic help have been placed. And even the lodgings of the mistress and her daughter were scarcely complete. She concealed her fury for the master, but gave no such quarter to myself or the other assigned to attend her. Between her and the surly, unkempt laborers chittering at each other in a, in a hundred tongues, I fear the winter will be a long and uncomfortable one. Shard. What's that we got here? Oh! 183. Okay, so I can see the... Huh. I can go back and look at the memories. Okay, good. So I don't actually have to remember. <laughs> That's good, because Lord knows if I have to remember something, it's not happening. Nothing happened. Probably because there's no power still. Can't take the crank back, I guess. Right, where do I go now? To your visibility, this will be the last time we ever uh, entrust the flashlights to Lieutenant Downs. Oh, I get to use it over and over again. I thought I... Oh, there we go. Bueno, with the heat turned up, I should try turning the, gener uh, turning the generator powers. Couldn't be too far from here. Okay. I thought that the, the crank was like, staying on the door where I had uh, used it. It's probably a good thing it doesn't. How did I see into that room a second ago? That was weird. Got more bull hats. He broke his way in. Come around for us. Get off me. Jeez. Evil butler from hell? These creatures, what are they? They may seem like monsters, but they die like everything else. Well, not necessarily like everything else, but they do die. I'm so smirts, yeah. <laughs> Something catches your eye. More bullets, nice. Jeez. Potato away for the win! Get off me! Why did that one move so fast? There's more, there's more. She crawled off of the- I'm- I'm infected. Oh great, now he's gonna die. Dang it, all these little locked chests.
Come on. He doesn't fire fast enough. We could double back to the lab and see if we can take that IV again. Oh yeah, maybe. That might work. As long as we're here. Okay, let's go. We'll see if that IV is available still. This guy's such a slow runner. <laughs> it's like it's not my fault. I'm old. <coughs> Excuse me. Too many Twinkies, yeah. Oh, this is the wrong way. Cue the Bionic Man theme. <laughs> we can rebuild him faster, stronger, older. Five doses remain. Use a dose of medicine? Yes. All right. It is a full cure. Gets rid of the bidness. We have four doses left there. Now I gotta run all the dang way back. Wait a minute. <laughs> While I'm here, let's just reload. Check the shotgun. <laughs> I'm not there. So I turned on the um, the furnace and it said the generator should be nearby. We went a different way. There isn't like a thing that says generator room though. What kind of coward would inflict this horrible curse on innocent people? The coward the kind, I don't know. That goes back to the prison, we don't want to go that way. Okay. Forgot about that. Run, old dude, run! What? Is it? What? What happened? <laughs> Something's not right. Let's just try this door opening thing again. There we go. So he figures out the generator's just a switch in the lab. Aw, oh, man. More bull hats. No idea if that's true. Well, there is a switch on the wall there, but it, I think that it, there has to be power already before the switch does anything, but I, I could be wrong.
the heck is this? A large dusty trunk. Open it. Turn right, open it. You open the trunk. You acquire a 9mm magazine. Permanently increase the number of bullets in the storage box by 10. Nice. 9mm doesn't have much stopping power against these things. A bigger clip will help. Darn right it will. Give me that bigger magazine, baby. Something catches your eye. First aid kit, nice. Oh, there's that chair that was blocking things. We can get that out of the way now. Okay, so that's now open. This looks like the generator room. I'm probably supposed to hit that switch, but I thought I would just take a quick peek here and see if I'm going to get, like, zombified. As soon as I hit it. It's a power generator. Turn it on. Darn right, turn it on. Oh. Uh oh I had a feeling there'd be too much pressure on those release valves. All they need is a little adjustment. Okay, fix the bursting steam valves. That's one. There's probably multiple, right? Yeah. Get off me, evil hag! God dang! Die! Die, you little dead thing! Jeez! I do not like it, green. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like it, Sam. I am. Jeez. I do not like those things. Do like it. It's hard to turn quickly to address them, too. That's probably a good thing to use. Get off me! Now you're dead, you little dead thing. God dang. That was ugly. There's something behind this box right here. Boom! No idea what this generator's running on, but it seems to be working. Time to throw a few switches around here. I don't know what's behind this box. There's clearly something there. The handle switch. Flip it. Flip that sucker. More bullets. I like me some bullets. Damned bullets is nice. 
All right, we got all the doors over there. Uh, actually, the elevator's probably running now. So we can go check the elevator now. Elevator go down the hole. An elevator shaft. Thanks. I mean, nothing happened. If I keep hitting the button, it'll eventually work, right? That's how things work. All right, we're gonna go back and hit the power switch in the lab, I guess. It's through here. It's a handle switch, flip it. Turn right, flip it. There we go. Jess with the 34 month member message. Booyah! Have we died yet? Yeah, we, I accidentally dropped a lady into a pit full of spikes and she got impaled and died. <laughs> you see, I'm not useless yet. Oh, where is it going now? Of course, all that beautiful electricity goes straight into this jug <laughs> Jaguette Pala Virgins. I don't know what that is, but all right. Rodriguez, Javier, the new mission is ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Unfamiliarity with keyboard detected. Please speak. I have speech input. The new mission is escape. Wonderful. This stupid thing can hear me. And clearly it will keep talking no matter what I do. Seek garden. Access garden. Requires key. Beware of master. Gardening. Fine. Whatever. If it gets me to the chopper... Maybe I can get us out of here. Get to the chopper. Okay. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> A photo of Ares Division. Look, the person that I shot in the forehead. Or is that the doctor? I killed somebody, though. A procession of the dead. Subtle. Your heart of voice cracks me up. <laughs> I'll get to the chopper. What how Ashley's little rat from headquarters ended up here? That's probably a good question. How did it end up here? Medical cabinet. If the lieutenant had been here, I'm sure she would have turned some of these supplies into something useful by now. Lieutenant who now? Wall safe for the that requires a combination to open. Uh, a darkened shape of a strange injector can be seen within. Oh. Wait, what was that? Uh, what was that code? Uh, the items. Archive. Memories. Nope, oh, that was the wrong button. Uh, 1836. We'll try 1836. The one eight three six. That's not it. Alright. Gonna find more codes. Eight six seven five three oh nine is probably the code. Go back to the library. Oh, uh, that's got to be the master. Stop! What the hell are you doing here? Oh crap! Yeah, that's that's got to be the master. Unless my eyesight's going, that looked like Monroe in some kind of costume. Those bells—they remind me of no. They remind you of what? Remind you of no? Like they said no. There was a chessboard and a note right next to it, next to the refill for ammo. Was there? All right, we'll check.
Oh yeah. Uh, when the rows of white and number of spheres combine, the shield of a great knight shall be thine. When the rows of white and number of spheres combine, the shield of a great white a great knight shall be mine. What? Rows of white. Oh, the chests. The chests. The rows of white. The rows of white. When spheres combine. Ugh. What am I supposed to do with that? After ten years of playing chess with the captain, I gave up. He yells at the pieces, and then he yells at you. Checkmate pattern added to memories. Added to memories. Checkmate pattern. Final victorious move for Captain Charles game at Ares headquarters. Huh, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Maze thing on the right side of the room. What, the rat maze up here? Oh, I, mean, I looked at the rat cage, but I guess I didn't look at the maze. Oh no, I can't, I can't interact with the maze. He just looks at the rat and it's like, how'd this get here? A lab rat. Hold on. Uh, boop. Final victorious move for Captain Charles, game of Ares headquarters. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, uh, huh. Try the weapon mod kit? Yeah, he says something like if the captain was here, they'd be able to do it or something. <laughs> the knight is on row eight. Yeah. Uh, final victorious move for Captain Charles games at Ares headquarters. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing tonight, Blaine? The same thing we do every night, Piggy. Try to take over the world. <sighs> One, eight, three, six. I don't get it. <laughs> one, one, eight, three, six. Nah, I don't get it. My brain no worky. The rook one down. That's uh, eight. What like a two to a one? Yeah. If he's the black players, anyway. I wasn't sure if he was supposed to be the white or the black. What was the, um... one 2 one was that, um, that note? Small notes. Chest note. When the rows of white and numbers of spheres combine... Shield of a great knight shall uh shall be thine. Rose of white. So like eight? When the rose of white and spheres combine. Only a four digit number though. One eight three six. Nope. 
White piece is on uh, rows eight, R six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold on. What do we got? What do we got? This may not even be the right spot for this, actually. Rows of whites, so that's eight. <laughs> There's too many whites there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. The only rule that doesn't have any white is seven. Brook Queen Pond King. Yeah. For the chess code, maybe five, four, eight, five. Pawns have orbs on them, the white tiles. But they're also on three, two. Five, four, three, two. This is probably the final move in a typical chess denom denominated format. Maybe, but so like if it's if it's Black's move, they could win by moving. They could move the uh, the rook in a two to a one, and then they'd have checkmate on the white. The white king. If it's White's move. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Black is already in checkmate. Rules, uh, ABDG don't have white pieces either. Yeah. I don't know. Final victorious move for Captain Charles' game of chess. I mean, it looks like the game's already won right now. But we don't have the, um, the reference point for the, the chessboard the way it was before to know what the move was. Black's done check me. The black king is behind the pond, it looks like. So if you look, um, it's, I can't zoom in on the board. Hold on, maybe I can go back and look at the board over here. Um, there's a, a queen right next to the king. The king has nowhere to move. Unless they could take the... Uh... Actually, the king could take the queen. Because it's not protected. Yeah, okay, so black's not in checkmate. <clears throat> they can just use the pawn to take the queen. So, like, pawn in uh, g7 to uh, h6. But if um, if he's the black player, then he can move a2 to a1, and he's got checkmate. Oh, no, because then he can... Actually, no, uh, never mind, because then he can move the rook down and block it. So he's better to move the queen from f2 to g2, and then he's got checkmate. f2 to g2. But I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> well, um, when it mentions the sphere, it's talking about the billiard arrangements. Uh, maybe you need to combine the two. Well, I thought so, but I, I don't know how you would combine the two. I don't know. I don't get it. Brain hurts, exactly. Moves a rook to block it, then uh, black takes the rook, uh, then white takes queen. Well, you don't even need to. You can do it in one move. If you're the um, if you're the black player, you move the queen from f2 to g2. You've got the uh, the king in check, and you're defended, so he can't take it. He has nowhere to move, and he can't block it, so you've already won. Yeah, it shows the eight ball on the on the clue. I I get that, but anyway, uh, the game of the board's already over, so it's a combination of information of what's already present. I don't think he'll be moving anything for this code. 
but the game isn't it doesn't look like it is over it, it looks like the um the black kings in um in checkmate except that the king can take the queen that's got it in check it's not protected so i don't know i don't know my brain hurts I don't do this whole thing. How did that guy get through there? I can't get through there. That's cheating. Am I locked in here? No, okay, I can get out here. Why are you so tough? Jeez. I don't understand why these ones are so much tougher. God dang. Well, that's interesting. They have a picture of a hallway up there. Painted depicts a door in an unsettling liminal space. I wonder if there's a door hidden somewhere in a hallway that looks like that. All right, I want them bullets. Oh, this room. Painting of a heart seems to have moved from another location. Rich people, always putting priceless things in dusty storage rooms. Just with the super chat, of course zombie butlers are tougher. Well, they're tougher than the maids, but the maids move faster. Something catches your eye. More bullets, nice. Large dusty trunk, but I already emptied it. It's like the arcade game I used to play at Dave and Buster's. Oh, really? <laughs> it's like a blend of uh, like Resident Evil and House of the Dead. Oh, here's the garden. This was where I was trying to get to. Oh, oh, it was a trap. Jesus, die already! Fall back! <laughs> Gotta heal. Reload. Reload. I need a more powerful gun. This is not cutting it. I can't tell if they're coming closer or not. Can they not come through the door? Guess maybe they can't. Jesus! It takes so many shots! Better get more quarters, Fox. Yeah. This is an interesting game because, like, as your players die, you end up taking control of a different one. So it's like a roguelite, but with, like, different, different characters as you move through. Servants, gardeners, maids, experiments like these always end up being done on people too poor and powerless to refuse. I don't know. They seem powerful enough to me. Bunch of jerks. Something gadges your eye. First aid kit, nice. <laughs> a fountain. What's this, glowing toadstools? It's a blue mushroom. You take it with you. You acquired the blue mushroom. My family used to cook, uh, cook with these when someone got sick. The lieutenant could use this to make some kind of poultice. Wait, would that be the lieutenant we already got killed? This is the garden I was trying to get to, I think, right? Where's my, um... Didn't I have, like, a mission log somewhere? Task. Escape escape to the back gardens. I'm, I'm in the side garden. This isn't the back garden. That figures. Red rum! Red rum! <laughs> I don't want to open the door. <laughs> I don't know what that evil little child is doing in there. Is that supposed to be any kids in here? Roland with the spoilers. Come on, Roland. Thank you for the super chat, but you just sort of busted it on me. <laughs> 0798 safe code. The trick for the shotgun is to not move once you grab it. But I didn't move when I grabbed it. It just automatically, like, collapsed on me. Thank you for the super chat. 
Let's try to avoid spoilers, though. I hope those aren't real spoilers. That kid is evil! Rosa! I mean, Rosa. Are they gonna be your own grandkid or something? Why does that door have a B on it? Okay, this place is disturbing. Oh, there's that painting. That's uh, that's where the heart painting is supposed to go. Looks like a painting used to be here. Well, I couldn't pick up the stupid heart painting. Painting's missing. An outline of the frame can be seen. To my family, cherished blossom, child of mine, bumblebee and butterfly, as death endures, our hearts shall ache. Sacred river, endless lake. It's a button. Push it, push it! Oh, turn the lights on. Enough of these stupid drawings. Whoever made these obviously did all the others in the mansion too, and I don't like any of them. Family crest added. Alright, so this looks like there's a few missing paintings here. Mannequin of a young girl. It's a child sized mannequin wearing a dress. A small golden brooch shaped like a bubble bee is pinned to the chest. Take the brooch. Start right, take the brooch. Brooch is fast with a single pin and easily removed. You acquire the bumblebee brooch. This is creaky, but something about that sounded mechanical. Watch your step, old man. Oh no. Why is this bunt crooked? A lake, the sunlight shimmers on it. Flower appears to be in bloom. Oh, wait a minute. An infant, innocent. I wonder if I have to go back to that closet to get the, uh... So we've got an infant, lake, flower. Oh, Jesus! Like, if you take the brooch, I assume, you're just dead? Wow. I think someone had said earlier that like, you definitely have to sacrifice a few people. Then maybe that's one of the sacrificial spots. Said watch your step. Yeah, I see that. I wonder if there's a tile I could have avoided. <laughs> oh, that's awesome right there. Good grief. Take the lieutenant this time. Note to self, don't take brooch. But I want the brooch! I think I have the brooch because I took it already. Did I fall asleep at headquarters while they were renovating again? Why is all this furniture around, moved around here? Where'd everybody else go? Where's Ashley? And why are we all waking up in the same bed? That's a little creepy. Hey, that workbench is like the one back at HQ. I noticed it because I'm a workbenchy kind of guy. Bench is all the tools that need to upgrade our weapons. I'll use this pistol tuning kit to make our pistol more pistol-y. <laughs> That's pistol-tacular! Hopefully it does more damage now. You acquire the BR Vanus 9mm pistol tuned. Locked and loaded, it's killer time! A chessboard. No matter how much Captain Charles explains chess to me, I don't get it. Why does anyone ride the horse? <laughs> I want to see the, the faces marked off here. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. They're crossing us out and pushing us into our, pushing our faces. Too bad everybody on our side, or on your side, is too ugly to beat a picture or get anybody to do a barbecue. I'm just throwing someone out there never seen this game played. Oh, right, right, right. Poor Chef Boyardee. There's a mushroom up there now. 
Okay, so it looks like the stuff that you find, it goes to the bench where you can actually do something. I wish Ash was here to figure out what these medical supplies are for. I also wish I could kiss her on the mouth. <laughs> okay. This guy's got... Got a bit of a toot, dude. Um, There was something else that I thought it had said. I wish the captain was here for... It wasn't just the... Um, it wasn't just the weapon bench. Is the brooch in the inventory now? It should be. We've got the cake coin, we've got the valve handle, we've got the blue shroom. No, actually I don't have the brooch. I may have to go pick up the brooch from the smear on the floor. <laughs> now the grass, cherish blossom, child of mine, bumblebee and butterfly. As death endures our heartshell lake, sacred river, endless lake. Huh. I don't know where I'm going. I wonder if it'll let me take the picture from the storage room now. Any of my heart seems to have moved from another location. This is what uh, they trained us to aim for. Feels strange to see it up close. Why can't I take the picture, though? Unless it's not one of the ones that's supposed to go on that wall? It's weird that like it would identify it, though. Getting workplace harassment vibes from this dude. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Let's go see if the smear on the floor has the brooch. These waiters thought I wouldn't recognize them if they changed outfits. <laughs> now nah, they look like dead people. <laughs> I love the big stain on the floor. Blood! Too fresh to be old, too real to be fake. Large amount of blood is splattered across the floor and walls. Where's the brooch, though? Don't tell me it's back up here. It is. Look at the wall! <laughs> the wall's like... Uh... I want that brooch, but... That seems to be like a death sentence. Sort of like taking the shotgun, you know? <laughs> I love that the wall is like just covered in blood. <laughs> oh lord. Break that sucker. That seems problematic. Get off of me. Jeez. I really need that shotgun. This the handgun just doesn't have much stopping power. Oh wait, there's that. Now it's showing the picture of that door, but the, I'm assuming that lever opens whatever that door is, wherever it is. Can I open this thing. You open the trunk. Nine millimeter magazine. Permanently increased number of bullets in storage box by ten. Yeah, I want to pull the lever. Oh, look at that. Sneaky. I knew there was a door there. I should have hit it harder. Oh, all I did was open up a shortcut. Alright. Thought I did a thing, but it's just a shortcut.
Any zombies in here? November 1894. Mistress Claire has been upset as of late. Her husband's not uh, one to vanish for so long, as ordinarily he tries of he tires of new projects as quickly as he conceives of them. For whatever reason, however, this faraway estate to which he, uh, we will move in the New York er, in the New Year has become his obsession. I cannot tell if the mistress misses him or fears that the cost will be their undoing. Her dot is a scourge. She plays at witchcraft, and I fear that her influence on Isaac will be lasting. But most of us will be destitute without the mistress and her family. They've given us a place within their home. Wherever she goes, I will follow. I will follow her. Wherever she may go. What's this? K-Coin gives off an unnatural aura. Another K-Coin. I think I've got two K-Coins. That's weird. What do we do with K-Coins? Stairwell East. Painting in the storage. I, I tried to go there, but it wouldn't let me take the painting. If you're talking about the one that was down here, the heart painting or whatever. I went here and it will blop. There's no option to pick it up. Seems to move from another location, but you don't get to like pick it up and take it with you. I don't know. I'm sure, we'll figure it out later. So we'll see where the stairwell goes. I bet it goes upstairs. Smash them all! Okay. Butterfly door. That door is locked. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's not a painting that goes in those empty spots, but something else that represents them? Maybe? That music sounds even older than this house, but houses can't sing. That's what he thinks. Something in there in the birdcage. Oh my god! Rapid fire don't work! Jeez! Fracturing their brain is hard, man. Same room. Two doors to the same room. That's funny. Oh, we're above the library. The small sculpture appears to have, uh, have a turning mechanism, but it's locked firmly in place. An angelic statue. The face is missing. A key is clasped between its hands. Give it a cake coin. <laughs> it has no effect. All right, I gotta find a face hiding somewhere. More bull hats. Okay, so that balcony is a dud. Till we find a face. Yeah, 
Yeah, beware the weeping angels, man. Smash it. Smash that too. A little disturbed by this music. This door, I believe, is locked. Yep. Finally figured out what the symbols mean. <laughs> I'm smart that way. This one's also locked. It's a lot of cobweb in there. This one's unlocked. March 1896. Isaac is my son, a child not even 11 years old. The mistress assured me that no harm would ever come to him. Yet now her ruin of a husband insists that every able-bodied man and boy toil within the surrounding forests and quarries of the estate. To reclaim the fortune he so foolishly lost. When Isaac returns to our quarters as the sun rises, I have but a few short minutes to wipe the dust and pain from his eyes before my own labors begin. In the hallways I hear the wailing of servant mothers whose sons never returned at all. This place sounds like a fabulous place. The plant. Yeah, thanks. It's, uh, that was a plant, too. Something catches your eye. Shotgun shells. More bullets. You acquire magnum bullets. Ooh, there's a magnum, eh? I approve. That just opens to the hallway. Weird. Die, die, die. Oh, man. I already know I'm going to die here tonight. Do we have to do this? How about we stop this horrible record? The gramophone silences at your approach. Oh, crap. If you turn the lights off because you think I won't shoot at nothing, you're so wrong. I love shooting at nothing. I'll shoot at nothing forever. Oh, crap. Get back. Back, 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 I say. Jesus! Oh, I hate those things. Oh boy. Alright. Reload. There's the face. She had the face on. The maiden wore this mask as a piece of makeshift armor. It appears to have been dislodged from a greater work. It's the angel face. We did it. We solved the puzzle. The hell, zombie maids? The only thing getting cleaned up in this mansion is you. Acquire the diary of Clara Breckenridge. Complete the diary by finding additional pages. Dearest diary, after what has felt like an eternity, my beloved Oswald is finally sent for Roberta and myself, enclosing two beautiful brooches for us alongside his invitation. Against his witches, Miriam and her son Isaac will join us as well. If Oswald protests, I will be forced to reveal my secret, that I cannot be expected to abide without a handmaiden, when I shall soon be too heavy with another child to manage Roberta on my own. God willing, the joy of this news will uncloud his despair. Probably not. Fetish has been chipped away in several places, and a bow is nowhere to be found. Rigs are weary and out of tune. What a lovely music room we discovered. Put the face bag on the angel, man. Alright, I already looked in there. Uh, I gotta get back to the balcony here. 
That's it. I love shooting at nothing. <laughs> it's the perfect character for me, man. Ta-da! You place a mask on the statue. That gives me the key. Sounds like I can spin those statues now, and I should read. Uh, I should read the rap song at the bottom of this thing. The crowns of fire, where the sun shall surely rise. A bird of night against it, murder in its eyes. Angels stand with demons as the world turns to dust, while all the while the devil plays the witness that he must. Three crowns of fire, when the sun shall surely rise. Bird. Angels. Demons. Brains. I don't know. <laughs> How do I know, man? Rope tape. Oh, that's the bird. Okay. Okay, wait. What did that thing say? Three crowns of fire with a sun shall surely rise so something fa so okay so this head needs to face east where the sun's gonna rise three-headed dog covered in flames whoops which way is east <laughs> should i just assume it's that way <clears throat> a bird of night against it murder in his eyes so against it so that's got a face towards it i guess Angels stand with demons as the world turns to dust, while all the while the devil plays witness that he must. Well, I mean, there's the angels and demons there. That's your Lucifer, the fallen angel. I literally have no idea. Well, all the while the devil plays the witness that he must. Angels stand with demons as the world turns to dust. Jasper the Super Chat. I'm the rapper. Yes, sirree. I rap things to go under your Christmas tree. I love to rap. And that you can bet you. If you don't let me rap for you, I'll come out and get you. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. So I got bird left. Demon down. And then what, the angel up, I guess? Because I'm assuming they're they're all gonna point in a different direction, right? Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I rotated past it, but I got the key. You acquired the servant key. We got a big key. Now I can open all the doors. <gasps> all the doors. I can open doors like oh crap. Holy, I killed him for once before he got me. God, you gotta like just absolutely spray fire that thing. This is like, why is it dressed like a waiter? If these are zombies, they only answer to one law. Bullet law. This guy's got all the catch catchphrases, man. Okay, so let's uh let's try going in here. Open sesame. Get off of me! Chase! Why can't I reload? There we go. What have we here? Antique birdcage! Some sort of crank can be seen within. It's locked. Use the servant's key. It has no effect. Are you kidding me? It's a birdcage. Just smash it. It's a plant. That's a plant too. Uh, 
Uh, what's that new noise I'm hearing? Something catches your eye. More bullets. Alright, stairwell. We can check the door up here, I guess. Ah, oh, crap! Get off of me! Get off of me! Oh, she, she infected me. God, I hate that thing. Four and a half minutes to get myself healed. Ah, oh, crap. Reload, reload! Okay. I've gotta get all the way to the basement to get that stupid cure thing though. Oh god, there's the kid. Wait a minute. It actually looks like the kid now instead of just the mannequin now. That's that's creepy. Is that a little girl? Couldn't get here without a vehicle. Can she drive? <laughs> it's bland. Wooden butterfly brooch. You acquire the wooden butterfly brooch. Okay. I need the bee brooch. Okay, we gotta go uh, down the stairwell, through the garden. Actually, I have a key now. I wonder if I can just take a shortcut. I don't have to go through the garden anymore. I got that door open over here. Back off! Oh, dude! Oh, come on! I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Back off. No, get off of me. Ah. Oh. Game name, you will die. Yep, yeah, this is definitely you will die here tonight. <laughs> I've already got three people killed. Oh, no. Dang it. Those butlers are brutal, man. Worst butlers ever. Worst butlers ever. What's this guy's deal? Vincent Charles, team leader. All right, Charles. You're in charge now. I was about what the hell? There's no time for napping. How's this place? Why does it look like my goddamn headquarters? What else is a goddamn division? Gotta get everyone out of here in one piece. Uh, a little late for that. I hate to break it to you. I got here first. Twenty rounds. <laughs> yeah, three down, three to go. Uh, okay. I guess we gotta go. Gotta go backtrack right now. So wait, what have I got? I should have... So I've got the wooden brooch. I don't have the, um, the bee brooch. She renders it shockingly resistant to electricity. <laughs> okay. So, I should have the key to unlock this thing now, right? Yeah. That gets me to the main hall. Which doesn't do a lot for me. The 
escape to the back garden. Well, we made the back garden. There's the chopper. <laughs> Looks like the chopper's right where we landed. It's about damn time something on this operation state put. He's got the keys. Put that helicopter key down, scumbag. Give up, you ain't getting out of here with that key. Pursue the unidentified man in the garden. I mean, that's probably the boss, right? Taking all the bullets. This is where Recon advises to land and stage. We had to circle around in front of the house, but it was a tactical necessity. Something sits on top of the storage box. Another magazine. Nice. First aid kits added to inventory. I'm a little bit concerned about how much ammo they're giving me right now. <laughs> Get to the chopper! Wait, come back, strange man. Uh, oh, what's this? Another puzzle? Sit your butt down, patty cake. Hands where I can see them. Oh, that's cheating. Move through the gate like a cap between the bars. God almighty. Oh. Is that a bad sign? Feels like it might be a bad sign. Is that supposed to scare me? Goddamn barbecue. Uh, I mean, I am kind of scared. Who the hell was that? I should go talk to Kirk into the lab. They might know about this. Talk to Kirk into the laboratory terminal. The plaque beneath the statue signifies an order of knights that once protected the arist aristocratic ancestors of the Breckenridge family. These things are supposed to protect that bank hole with the key. Hope they asked him for a raise. Because they can't protect him from me. Firmly locked, a strange insignia is engraved in the handle. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, he like phased through the bars. Guy's got superpowers, man. Like a ghost or something. Okay, back to the lab, I guess. Uh, which is below the library. All right, Kirkin, what's your deal here? That blank old master of yours was out there, Kirkin. Too bad he was too much of a coward to do anything but run. Access of back garden confirmed. Confirm my butt. It's nothing but bait. That butt old dingle dangled the goddamn helicopter key in front of my face and ran off. Master is danger. Pursuit is only resolution. Additional key is required. Seek garden gate key on third floor of structure. Prepare for severe combat. Severe combat. Mission is escape. Access the third floor. Oh, boy. Maybe Mr. Chessmaster can decipher the chess game puzzle? Oh. Maybe. Maybe it is, like, specific to the character. The chessboard. This game's only one move away from the one I've been playing back at headquarters. In fact, this shows exactly this shows me exactly how to get a checkmate. I'll remember this. Still not seeing it. <laughs> He's saying it shows him exactly how to get a checkmate, but. There's nobody in checkmate right now. All right, whatever. <clears throat> All right, that didn't help. <laughs> get, the, get the idea the captain's too old for this stuff. Yeah, maybe. You might be right. Um, 
We've opened up all the doors on the main floor at this point. This way to go we gotta go back upstairs to the second floor. Go, go, go. Oh crap! I forgot about this guy. Aw, oh, really? Like Well, gotta go back down to the basement. <laughs> oh! Jeez! God dang! Potato aim for the loss, man. Ah, right, give me the cure. Four doses remain. Whatever the eggheads put in this bag has unmessed me up real good. Joe has got a brace for the side effects. What are the side effects? That's my dude, Lieutenant! God damn it! I'll tell your father you died fighting the good fight. Not like this. Suck it, Lieutenant. I mean, I'm sorry. Lieutenant, you were a damn lunatic. How the hell did you get yourself into this situation? He searched the corpse. Oh, I got bullets. <laughs> All two of them. Kind of butler walks directly into that much firepower without going down. Well, that it matters to me. You so and so's ain't in our mission. Just in our way. I love that my guy was like wandering around as a corpse and I had to put him down. <laughs> yeah, round two, fight. Art gallery balcony, I've already been to. Yeah, let's go down here. Back off! Oh, come on, again? Jesus! I can't stop getting bit. <laughs> A mirror? What happened there? I acquired the green herb. We use these in the jungle to treat ass rot. <laughs> then Kowalski makes something out of this. Oh, Kowalski dead. Something catches your eye in the toilet. Oh, good. That's fun. Probably the captain's log. Okay, back to the basement again. Jeez. Excuse me. Please don't let there be an army of zombies between me and there now. I have to heal and get the shotgun? Well, the shotgun was like where I couldn't get it though.
Where was the shotgun, actually? Above the dungeon pit, right? Oh, actually, we have the key, so we can go in the door now. Um... Where was it? The sm it's the smoking room, right? Oh, what's this? The knight who stood here has evidently departed. He's knife to a gunfight, so and so's might be stalking me. Better keep it close. Oh boy. Of course, the one that appears fragile and priceless. Just like that one probably was. What if there's a fast way to get the antidote? It seems really inconvenient to go all the way down to the lab every time. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is pretty inconvenient, but maybe that's the general idea. I don't know. <laughs> I want that darn shotgun. Triple seconds in yellow. Whiskey? Not now. If we ever get through this one piece, never again. Got my word on that. Amen. Ah, oh, God. I don't even know. I feel like I didn't try to move last time, but... Might be vintage, but a shotgun's a shotgun. Two barrels are better than one. The spirit of vengeance is patience. Mechanism disturbed as the weight's lifted. You acquire the double barrel shotgun. Okay. So you definitely have to wait. <laughs> the question is how long? I must have to like make a noise or something at the end of it. Ah. Dang it. Didn't work. I mean, it was making a noise, but maybe you just gotta wait until like it finalizes something. I was like, do I have to just have to wait a certain amount of time, or did the team disappear? Um, I wasn't sure if it was like if I wait a certain amount of time, or if I wait too long, it'll just automatically dump me down anyway. Oh wait, this way. I want that shotgun. If it gets me killed, I'm gonna die getting it. <laughs> Give me that gun! Three seconds, then move. But, so is it, you don't wait longer than three, or...? I kind of wish it was a modern one. Who cares? You're gonna die trying to grab it anyway. Now I got a problem. <laughs> it's still just going. You can't run. <laughs> it is. Is it if you wait too long, it's a trap. If you go too soon, it's a trap. Like you got to move exactly in three seconds. Last person. We're gonna find out. I want that shotgun. You waited too long. I guess that's what it is. That's what it is. I waited too long. 
Wait, did she die already? I thought she got shot in the head. <laughs> Waited too long. Let's try. Huh? That medical cabinet is exactly the one in my infirmary. Oh, she's the one that can make the medicines out of it. If I can combine these basic supplies with three rare plants, I might be able to create a surplus of uh, medical kits. All right. This is our last person to try this with. Before the restart, she died, yes, but everyone died in your first playthrough. Yeah, fair enough. But where does the clicking start? Because it's sad, like, there's a bunch of grinding noises, like, first, I don't know. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Once you don't move soon enough, it doesn't matter anymore. You're just stuck there forever. Or you move and drop into the pit. Okay, we got the gun. So, shotgun's acquired. It only cost me three people to get it. So, you know, that's a bargain. Yeah. I've got no reloads for this thing. That's weird. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Blue mushies, green herbs, and something else for the yeah. I've got uh, I've got two of the three of them. I think we've got the green herbs and the blue mushrooms. I don't know what to do with the K coins. Okay, let's um, let's go upstairs. That one's chained. What the heck? The suit clutch is a noble shield. Oh! Shields locked firmly in place and chained to the knight. Oh, look at that. That's where the chest solution's for. Okay. So, the... Checkmate pattern, billiards arrangement, which, no. Where's that, where's that puzzle thing? <clears throat> Research file, small notes. Chest note, there we go. When the rows of white and numbers of spheres combine, the shield of a great knight shall be thine. Okay, so, the, um, the billiards are, one eight three six. So I need the the chess pieces that are on one eight three six. So one is the king, eight is the rook, three is a pawn, and six is a queen. Bam! Take the shield? Yeah, I want the shield! Chains are released and the shield falls into your arms. You acquire the shield. Oh crap! I don't want to fight, but this, uh, but this... I want to fight you, but this shield of yours should help me do it. Okay. <laughs> this is after I finally solved the puzzle. Ah, that's it. That's everybody. We got them all dead. Is it resetting? Shh. 
mush. I think he did want a shield back. Cromch. Yeah. <laughs> It, it did a full reset, yep. This is hell. I am in hell. <laughs> ah, nice. Uh, it's already almost 12.30 my time, so I think I'm going to crash for tonight. This again has been, uh, you will die here tonight, and of course we did. Multiple times. Kind of a cool game, actually. I like the, uh, I like the aesthetic of it and the little puzzle solving and stuff. There's some good laughs in here, too. Uh, if you want to play the game yourself, it is available on Steam right now. I believe it's like 20% off right now. So uh, if you want to grab it there, you can snag that on sale. Uh, big thanks again to the promoter of the game for providing a key so we can check it out. Uh, again, you, we, you will die here tonight. Get it on Steam. Thanks again, everyone. Appreciate the super chats this evening. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.